In Australia, 75% of swimming pools are saltwater chlorinated. Today, there are two types of chlorinators on the market, non-reversing and self-cleaning. Zodiac saltwater chlorinators will require very little maintenance. However, there are three things that we must look at. The first is the salt level, the second, the calcium level, and thirdly, the chlorine level in the pool. Today, we're gonna to go through all three points to ensure your pool is safe and hassle-free for the season. If you are having problems with your chlorine generator, the first thing to do is to make sure you have enough salt in the pool water. Your Zodiac saltwater chlorinator will require about 4,000 parts per million salt in the pool water. You should never let that salt level drop below 3,000 parts because it will reduce the life of your electrode. If you do have another brand of chlorinator, it's best to check the owner's manual for the recommended salinity level. If you're not sure, just ask your local pool professional. As a guide, the salt level in the swimming pool is about the same as the salinity in the human body. Also, the salt level in the swimming pool is about 4,000 parts per million. At sea level, it's 35,000 parts per million. So it is a lot lower than seawater. Your Zodiac chlorinator will indicate when salt is required. However, to be sure, you should take a water sample to your pool professional for testing. They will advise if salt actually needs to be added and how much you need to add. Remember to only use a good quality refined salt when adding salt to the water of your pool. Cheap salt can stain your pool surface. If you are taking a water sample down to your pool shop or pool professional, there are four things that you should get them to check. The first is pH. The second is the stabiliser level. The third is the calcium level. And the fourth is the total alkalinity. These four factors will affect the operating performance of your Zodiac saltwater chlorine generator. When adding salt to your swimming pool, never add it directly to your skimmer box. Always add it to the shallow end of the swimming pool. This will allow it to drift down to the deep end, helping it to evenly disperse throughout the swimming pool. Run your filter for about four to six hours so that the salt evenly disperses throughout the pool and allow about 24 hours for the salt to fully dissolve. In some swimming pool environments, there might be a high calcium level in the water. This can cause scaling on your electrode and impede its ability to perform at its best. If you have a non-reversing chlorinator, you should aim to check your cell every fortnight during the peak of the season. If you have a self-cleaning model, you should check it every three to four weeks. You simply need to visually check the electrode and ensure that there are no scale deposits. If there are scale deposits on your cell, then you will need to clean it. Here are 10 easy steps. One, switch off the filter pump and chlorinator and close the necessary valves. Two, unplug the cell terminal cap. Three, unscrew the electrode retaining ring and remove the electrode. Four, immerse the electrode in cell cleaning solution, ensuring that the terminals are not immersed. The use of eye protection is recommended when working with pool chemicals. Zodiac also recommends you use an electrode cleaning solution from your pool professional, as acid can be dangerous. Five, allow the cleaning solution to dissolve the calcium deposits for about 10 minutes. Six, rinse the electrode in clean water and refit the electrode into the cell housing. Seven, replace the cell head and plug assembly. Eight, reset the valves and switches. Nine, turn the pump and your chlorinator back on. And 10, confirm the chlorine output and check that the timer settings have been retained. Now that we've checked the chemistry of the pool and cleaned the electrode, if the chlorine level is a bit low, then the Zodiac saltwater chlorine generator has a boost button that'll super chlorinate your pool. If you don't have a Zodiac branded chlorinator, then you might have to shock dose the pool. If you do super chlorinate your pool, the chlorine level will go high for about a 24 hour period. But after this time, your pool will be sparkling and clean, ready for swimming. If your pool starts to go cloudy or green in the peak of the season, you might need to shock dose or super chlorinate your pool. Likewise, if there have been a lot of swimmers in the pool, high temperatures or even heavy rain, these will all dilute the amount of free chlorine in your swimming pool. A shock dose of chlorine will help prevent these problems from occurring again. As always, refer to your owner's manual for more detailed advice or contact your local pool professional. 
Another tip, if your chlorinator is due for replacement, you should consider Zodiac's new Tri Water Care Management System. Well that's it for Pool School Lesson number two. We hope you've taken away some tips and advice to help you maintain your pool through the peak of the season. And we really do look forward to you joining us in Pool School Lesson number three.